Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on Adobe Photoshop Element 7. Uh, my name is Glenn Hilliard of digitalphotographycourses.co.uk. Hopefully you've watched the first video which is basically about the organizer and the welcome screen. Uh, if you have then you'll recognize this is where we left off um, and we've been working in the organize tab just up here. We're now going to be working uh, on the tab next door, which is called the Fixed tab. So we just click on the Fixed tab, and the view will change very slightly. As you can see, all the pictures in the organizer are still exactly the same place, and nothing changed. But what we see now is these buttons. Uh, and if you hover over any particular button, um, you will see it comes up with a brief description. Uh, improves colors, shadows, and highlights with the auto smart fix. We have auto color, auto levels, auto contrast, auto sharpen, auto red eye, which we'll have a look at later, and also crop. Now, the editing modes in Element 7 can get a little bit confusing because there are, seems to be so many of them. As well as the quick fixes we have here, we've also got another button which says editor and if you click on that you'll notice you've got a little down arrow which suggests that there are other options underneath and we have quick fix full edit and guided edit so those are also echoed down here so as you can see there's actually quite a lot of ways to edit your photographs now the main thing with the quick fix if you like window that we have here this tab is you can make the changes actually here in the organizer window so if we take a quick look at this photograph here then it was actually the Lynn Tower of Pisa and um, it was actually taken through the coach window as we're driving by so it's a little bit dark could have been a bit brighter and it's also a little bit lacking in contrast but that's okay because it's useful for me to be able to demonstrate these various techniques to you so as I say we're here we're still in the organizer we've not opened an editing window as such we can make the pictures here a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller if we want to and what I'm going to do is select this picture and just click on auto smart fix and there we go a dialog box saying the work's being done it's done and our picture has been greatly enhanced now there's a couple of things to notice if you look towards the top here, you will see a little stack that says version set. And if you look closely, it actually looks like two photographs laid on top of each other. And that's exactly what it is. This is called a version set. And when you've made a change to an image, what uh, Elements does is shows you the corrected image. And if you just click on this little tiny arrow at the side, it will show you the original image. So you've got, you can actually have a look at a before and after, which is quite useful. So just close that again. If you're not happy with the correct with the fix, and sometimes it happens that you get maybe a colour cast, uh, or it just doesn't work, it goes too light or too dark, then all you need to do is just pop up here and click on the undo button, and it will undo the smart fix. So just just for now, what we'll do is we'll just undo that. and we will have a look at some of the other um, buttons down here so if you remember how it was originally so this one's auto color and as you can see it's not made a massive amount of difference so let's have a look at auto levels what we'll do is we'll, we won't go back uh, let's have a quick look there you go oh it has it's changed the color slightly but let's have a look at auto levels Oops. So that's the auto color. Then we also have auto levels. So we'll just have a click on there, see what happens. Uh, whoops, just click off the picture there. There we go. Auto levels. Now that's the one that makes most of the difference, as you can see. Uh, auto contrast. Yeah. So basically, what actually happens is the auto smart fix kind of does all these three things together. Um, so it, say, sometimes it works really, really well. 
sometimes it doesn't work so well at all but if that happens then you've always got the option of the undo button and it will go away and it will undo each of those uh, sections for you okay on auto color so what we'll do is I think as basically what the, all these have done is to kind of do the same as the auto smart fix so what we'll do is we'll just stick with the auto smart fix on this occasion there we go and as I said before there's before and the after versions auto sharpen uh, this will sharpen your picture uh, and make it look nice and crisp um, I tend not to use it in this view sharpening is kind of something where you need to be looking at the image at a hundred percent so I really only tend to use that in the full editor mode auto red eye again if we just scroll down here to one of the red eye pictures just click on the picture and click on the auto red eye fix and there you go it will go along actually find the eyes for you and there we are and it's been fixed and you can see as before before and after there you go. just another one there just to see it in action again so it's one of those things that usually does a good job when you get these sort of uh, menus come up there they're kind of helpful tell you what's been happening uh, but if after a while they become annoying once you've seen them two or three times you can just click on the don't show again and they won't appear again okay so just press OK for there and then lastly what we have is the crop the crop really again is probably one I would tend to save for the full editor but uh, just to show you it in action if we just click on a picture I'll just use this one here click on crop and it just comes up and what we can do is we can just select an area now you what you will notice is by default there is no restriction on aspect ratio what that means is you could have a long skinny wide picture or a very tall picture uh, which is fine if that's what you're after but what will happen is when you tend it to uh, to the lab to get printed onto say six by four inches paper then it won't fit the correct ratio and they will end up chopping off bits either at the top or at the sides so what I suggest you do is decide what size um, print you would like and then choose the drop down box to match so four inches by six inches there you go and that way you will actually keep the picture the correct sort of shape it's called an aspect ratio once you're happy with the crop just click the tick and there you go there's your image cropped and if you want to you've got the option to view the image before view the image after if you really want to look what it looks like before and after as we, as any other program or any other um, correction tool you can always press undo uh, and it will go back on your corrections and next thing we'll be looking at on the next tutorial are the uh, these buttons down here and the full editor so for now that should be enough to keep you going hope you found this lesson useful and i'll see you again shortly